What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you guys the best four trading methods to help you guys make your first 1 million coins in FIFA 22. I'll be taking you guys through each of these four methods step by step, so hopefully it helps you guys out. Make sure to subscribe for more of my FIFA content, without further ado, let's get straight into the first method. Silver Team of the Weeks have been in the game since the start of FIFA, however, they do not have a focus to many people. This is because many people don't look at them due to the fact that they are silver cards or just silver team of the week cards. However, a lot of times some of these silver team of the weeks can be worth more than gold cards. So for the trading method that I'm going to show you guys surrounding these, what you are going to want to need to do is find the cheapest by now of all of these cards on the market. So for me currently, it is around 12,000 coins. But when you guys are using this method, I would make sure that you guys do check and just check to see if, uh, for example, they are 10,000 coins at the time you guys are using this method. So once you've found the cheapest by now, we know that we can sell all of these Silver Team of the Weeks on for 12,000 coins minimum, as that is the cheapest of any of them on the market. So what we want to do is, well, we want to bid on these cards. So if we go ahead and just search the market, just Silver Team of the Weeks, then we scroll across these pages. And what you guys will see is the, there is cards, obviously, these Silver Team of the Week cards that are open on bid. So what we would do is we would add them to transfer targets. Now this, this ward here is open on bid for 9,000 coins. So what we would do is we would compare his price. We would then look at all the listings of him on the market and find the cheapest one of him, which currently is looking around 13,000 coins. It does look like someone is price fixing him. However, currently it does look like around 12,000 coins will be the cheapest of these on the market. And we know that 12,000 coins is the cheapest silver team week, week, week anyway. So we put a bid on for 10,500 coins. Then we're guaranteeing ourselves profit even if we sell them at 12,000 coins. Tax on 12,000 coins is 600 coins. So when this deal does expire, we'll be making 900 coins profit. Same with the next card, Aram Cabrera. Well, we just checked through and there is an open bid on here for 9.5k. So what do we do? Well, we know that if we just whack a bid on that for 10k, then we can sell them on for 12k over the hour. So we'll be making free and easy profit on these cards. You can also use the compare price back out method with these silver team of the week cards, which is where you go to the cheapest team of the weeks on the market. And as long as there isn't more than one card over the hour mark, what you guys can do is compare the price of the card over the hour mark and then back out. What this does is it refreshes the market every single time. So every single time you compare and back out, a new card could pop up on the market, which could potentially be a deal. For example, if a card does pop up into the market for 9k, then we would pick that up, list it for 11,750, make it the cheapest on the market, and take the profit after the sale. But guys, all you're going to want to do is then just wait for these deals to expire. Now, because they are Silver Team of the Weeks, you will very, very rarely get outbid on these deals. As you guys can see, we are still winning them on 10k with one minute left. Anyway guys, let's move on to the next method. If you guys are looking for a really low-key trading method with very little competition, well then this trading method is for you, and that is the position change trading method. So, for the sake of uh, showing you guys what we're going to be using is cards that have been position changed from the original CDM position to the centre mid position. Now this includes cards such as uh, McTominay or someone like Fred, however there is multiple cards which you guys can use these for. But what you want to do is find a player either off Footbin or Footwiz that is originally a CDM player and has then uh, you want to search him in the transfer market for centre mid. So for example, just to show you, McTominay originally comes out of packs as a CDM. His cheapest on the market is literally 700 coins. However, the CDM to centre mid position modifier is around 3,000 coins. So what will happen is some people will want to convert him to a centre mid. And when they do, they will then list him on the market. Now what we would do is we would search the market and find all these, all the... Uh, Centre mid McTominay's that there are up. So for example, the cheapest one of him is 4.4k. What you would do is scroll through all of these pages. And now with their, if there was a huge undercut, what is what you're looking for? So if there was a huge undercut, for example, near the 59th minute, there was a 3k McTominay here. We would pick it up and relist it onto the market for 4.3k as that would make it the cheapest on the market. This McTominay here is at 4.4k and is an undercut of the next McTominay up at 5k. He also does have a shadow chemistry style applied, which is the only centre mid with a shadow chemistry style applied. So what we will do is pick him up on the market for 4.4k and we will then list him as the second cheapest on the market due to the fact that he does have the shadow, shadow chemistry uh, style applied. So if we list him for 5.3k on the market, then well then when that card does sell on, we will be taking the nice little 800 coin tax. But it's not it's just not just McTominay. There are many many cards that you guys are can do this with. And what you're looking is for around a, a 10 to 20 percent undercut on the card's price that is up. So for example, with Fred, normally his cheapest card on the market is around 2.6k with uh, the centre mid uh, position uh, applied. There you go, 2.7k, and what we would look for is, well, we would just uh, look through this and see if there was any for, like, 2,000 coins, then you would pick it up, relist it on the market for 2.7k. 
Another thing what you can do while you're using this method is just check that there isn't any going on for bid. So here we go, then this thread here, 3.1k, obviously we're not going to bid on that, knowing that he can sell for 2.7k. But what you would do is just put the maximum price to a price which you're comfortable bidding at. So knowing that we can sell a thread on for 2.7k in the sentiment position, we just want to search for the ones that are open on bid for under 2,000 coins. And we will go bid on these both for 2,000 coins. When they do expire, we can then go and list them for 2,600 coins. And you guys will win nearly all of the cards that you do bid on using this filter. And that is because there isn't much focus on these cards. Obviously, Fr Fred normally as a CDM is a lot, lot cheaper than he is as a centre mid. And not many people are focused on him as a centre mid. So therefore, you guys can win these cards more easily because there isn't many people looking at them. But yet again, there is infinite amount of players that, which you guys are going to want to check this for. And you guys are just looking for a big undercut. So you're going to want to use Footbin, as I said, just to look for the biggest undercuts on these cards. But it's very, very simple. Yet again, here with the Bruno Guimaraes, if there was one here for 3k, we'd pick it up, list it for 5k. And that is how you guys do the position change trading method. As I said, there is very, very little competition and it may take a while for some of these cards to sell on. But if you are patient, these cards will sell even if it is with a couple relistings. Bulk bidding is a training method that has been around since the start of the game and is very, very helpful to help you guys make your first million coins in FIFA 22. So what you do is you would find some 82, uh, between 82 and 85 rated players. For the sake of showing you guys, we are going to use 82 and 83 rated players. So you go on Footbin and look for, for example, 82 rated players which have a going rate of around 900 coins throughout the day. So this means that they fluctuate to around up to 900 coins at some point throughout the day and this becomes clear why you need this later. So if we look at Gareth Bale's price, then his cheapest buy now on the market is 750 coins. However, that is currently. So what you would do is you would try and win these cards on bid for 700 coins. Now, Gareth Bale is uncontested at 700 coins. So what you guys would do is just go and win a bunch of these on bid. Now, the reason why you want to win them on bid at 700 coins is because you guys will wait for these to fluctuate up throughout the day. So, for example, when you've bidded on a bunch of Gareth Bale as well, you're going to all win them for 700 coins, depending on what time you guys are using them, especially if the buy now is only 750 coins. But, for example, come 6pm when an SBC can be released, well, these cards can go up to 950 coins. And then what you do is, well, you would list all your cards which you won on bid earlier for 700 coins, up for 950 coins, and take the profit. There is many, many players which you can do this with, and a lot of them do fluctuate up. For example, Pulisic is one which fluctuates very, very regularly. And I think he is on a bit of an upwards fluctuation right now. So yeah, if you look at Pulisic, well, he is 850 coins currently. And if we look at his bidding, well, you can probably win him on bid for 700 relatively easily. So even though there is 50 minutes left, that market is glitched. If you do just compare the price, you guys will be able to see there is more going on open bid here for 750 coins. So if you guys put bids on these cards, such as Pulisic, for 700 coins to 750 coins, well, then you can sell them uh, at times like now when they fluctuate up to around 850 coins. So... The best time to do this method, obviously if there is any snipes you guys can pick them up like these uh, ones here for 750, but the best time to do this method is early, early morning. This is because not many people are on the game of FIFA, so if you guys can hop on either the companion app if you're not uh, away from your console, or just hop onto your console and bid on these cards early in the morning, well then you can probably win them all for 700 to 750 coins. All you're then going to want to do is just hold them throughout the day and sell them when they do fluctuate up later on in the day and this is really really effective especially when certain SBCs are leaked which uh, comes with like an 82 rating or an 83 rated cards which are required but yeah again there is many many players which you can do this with and then a card which also regularly fluctuates up is Gabriel Polista as you guys can see currently he is around 1.3 to 1.4k due to him being on an upwards fluctuation due to him being required in an SBC so yet again, what you guys would have wanted to do is, well, you could have gone in in the morning and won all of these cards for 700 coins. You would then wait for him to fluctuate up like he is now and sell him now for the easy profit. Okay, guys, so finally, the final trading method is going to be the highest budget trading method that I do show you guys in this video. So I recommend that you guys have a couple hundred K before you start doing this method. And that is going to be the icon trading method. Now, there has been base mid, icon, base mid and icons out for a while now in the game. There has also been prime icons been released and prime icon moments. So that leads to there being a range of icon cards that are open on the market. So the first method that you're going to want to do is similar to the silver team of the week method. And that is just search the icon market. What you're going to then do is scroll through the pages until you find an icon with a bid on. It normally does take uh, two or three pages to see an icon with a bid on. However, if you are unsuccessful at seeing an icon with a bid on, well, what you can do is you can just go back and change the max price. So, for example, what you do want to do is just put this max price to around 70k. 
what this will then do is uh, show you a lot of icon cards which are going on bid reasonably soon. So for example, this Suka card here is going on bid at 70k. What you would then do is check for the cheapest buy now on the market. And if the cheapest buy now was around 20% higher than what he is going on bid, well, then you would try and win him on bid for cheap and sell him on for more. So, for example, even though Suka isn't, if he was going for 90,000 coins, well, you guys would want to try and win this card on bid for anywhere below like 80,000 coins and then sell him on later on. So, for example, this Shevchenko here will go for around 75 to 78,000 coins on the market with it fluctuating up. So we can see that he has five minutes left on his bid at 67,000 coins. If we pop a bid on that for 67,500 coins, well then when that does expire, then we can sell it on for 77,000 coins and take the profit. What you guys do have to be aware of on this filter is that a lot of the cards you will be outbid on. And that is because there is quite a high focus on icon cards. Unlike Silver Team of the Week, these, these cards do have a higher focus, du focus during to them being more meta in the game. And even if they aren't meta, they are still icon cards, so lots of people still look at them. So if you are struggling to win some of them on bid, well then what you can do is go and do the compare price back out method or just the 59th method, 59th minute method with icons. What you do for this method is set your max buy now to the amount of coins you have. So currently my coin total is 527k. So all you want to do is put your max buy now and then uh, search the market, obviously not putting the max price. You then just search the market. What you do is you get given a variety of icons here. So with the reason why this method isn't working yet is because you guys have to adjust the max price. So if we adjust the most, if we adjust the max price and put it to around seventy thousand coins, well then we search the market, and this is because what it does is it shows you all the icons which have a buy now that is lower than your current coin total and a bid which is under seventy thousand coins. And what you do is scroll as quick as you can to the 59th minute. When you reach the 59th minute, well, what you are going to want to do is look at the icons that have just been li listed. Obviously, the ones at the 59th minute mark are icons that have just this second been listed onto the market. And you would go through and look at their prices. So, obviously, this Claude Makalele here is listed for 351k. You would then compare the price of this card and you would look for the cheapest by now. As, obviously, this uh, Claude Makalele, his cheapest by now is 360k, so it's not a deal. But had his cheapest buy now have been 400k, well then you would pick it up for 350 and sell it on for 400k. Obviously, I recommend you guys going back a couple minutes. But if you do not find anything on this filter, well then what you do, well you just simply go back out and update the max, uh, the minimum buy now. We know that the card at the 59th minute last time, the most recent card that had been listed was Claude Makalele. But because we have just re reset the filter well what's going to happen is new cards will have been listed so yet again you scroll back to the 59th minute okay so here we go all these cards have just fresh been listed so for example here this Henri at 235k well you would just compare his price if he was 270 then you would buy it and sell it on for more but you guys get the idea anyway guys that is going to be the four best trading methods in fifa 22 to help you guys make your first 1 million coins if you guys do find the video helpful, please make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more of my FIFA 22 content. You can also join my Discord server, the link to which is in the description. Thanks guys for watching, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.